So I have the first ever serious DJ app for Android here. It's from Mix Vibes. It's Mix Vibes Cross DJ for Android. I'm going to give you a quick overview of it. If you want to see a proper review of it, it's over at digitaldjtips.com. The link is below. But let's take a look. So I'm running this on a Nexus 5. It adapts depending on the size of the device you're using with various things appearing alongside each other or on separate screens depending on the size of the screen, which is quite clever. You start off in the song selection area where you can pick your songs. Once you've picked a song and you've got your songs loaded onto your decks, you can start tune playing. Now at the top of the screen, there is a waveform which scrolls by in parallel with the other track. And then here there's a deck that moves. It's not particularly smooth on my device. Um, and as you can probably hear in the background, the, the sounds are a little bit distorted. I haven't been able to work out why that's happening. Uh, I've had a little scout around. Some people are saying they're having that problem, other, others not. So maybe it's just a glitch on this device. Maybe it's just version one of the software, whatever. Stuff that I'm sure will get ironed out as they move along. So here, <laughs> You have the scratchability, a little bit of latency on it for me. Put your hand in the middle and move it up and now you have a pitch control by moving clockwise and anti-clockwise. And if you put your hand in the middle and move to the left and right, it's like a, a pitch bend or a nudge. There's no key lock on this and there's no key column in the software. So there's basically key, key and harmonic mixing is not covered in this app as it stands. So your other decks here, the crossfader's got a nice little touch on it that you can tap it like this. So if this were playing, you can tap it in like that. That wasn't lined up, of course. And apart from that, there's sync and cue and play. Quite a nice, clean front screen there, which I like to see. One thing I do like is that you can switch between the waveform display. So now we have a waveform for each track. And this piece at the top here is showing you one, two, three, four, counting four beats on the playing track, and it would also be counting on the other track. And um, you can switch it back to parallel waveforms if you like, and your cue points will show on the waveforms here as well. So now let's move over to some of the other screens. Three screens that you can select here. First one here is the cue points, uh, sorry, the loops and cues. So I could put a one bar loop there. I can double the size of it and carry on like that and then all the way down to the loop roll style things the nice thing here is that there's a slip mode that you can introduce so it's just like slip mode on bigger equipment pioneer and denon and tractor and so on have a slip mode which carries on what's going on underneath the track depending on whatever you do here won't affect it so that's nice to see and the cues are here, you can record a cue point. Well, you could if it was working, I'm not sure why that's not working. Oh, it's in delete mode, okay. Now, you might have noticed I couldn't do very quick cueing there, and I'll show you why that is in a minute. So here is the volume. Low, mid and high. You can't do the kind of two finger thing here, like this, which you can on some apps to do very quick changes for each deck. And then the effects are here. You select your effect, there's 15 effects. Just get a classic filter on. Let's just get that volume up again a little bit. And there's lots of other effects in here for you to mess around with as well. One thing I didn't like about this was there's no way of having, say, the effects on this deck and then something else on this deck. There has to be effects on both uh, because there aren't two buttons for selecting a different panel for each of these. Uh, so they're the three main uh, areas here. You can lock effects, by the way, like this. That's quite like Tractor DJ, the way that happens. So that lock has held the effect where I wanted it, so I can go off and do something else now. Down here is the settings. So here we've got the quantize. That's why when I was doing the quick queuing, the queue jumping, it was snapping to the beat. This quantize snaps everything to the beat for you. Quite good on a little screen, really, to be honest. There's a record here, which is very nice. Your recordings will show up in your library. Uh, and there's a gain control for each deck. 
I don't know why it's not auto gain though. It'd be nice to see these set to be auto gain. I mean, they're hidden away anyway. But also, auto gain is not the hardest thing to add to software, especially when you analyze the track. So I'd like to see that in a future edition of this software. And then the advanced setting has got stuff like protecting the currently playing deck, how long it waits on the end warning time, uh, a master limiter, crossfader tap jump. So this decides how far that crossfader jumps to the middle when you tap it, like I did earlier. Pitch bend and sync mode, a few other bits and pieces in there. So that's Cross DJ in a nutshell for the Android. And if you want to see what we think about this, go over to the full review on digitaldjtips.com.